Welcome back to the Cumulo Nimbus. We're here, in it, to win it. I see the stars. Oh. Okay. Maybe we can take advantage of this. That's one out of nine. So, uh, this camp, we saw there was like a bear trap out there. So like, it's definitely like, oh, look right here. There's a, uh, like a trip wire. Definitely booby trapped. So we gotta be on a hard lookout for that. Especially these bear traps. Bear traps deal damage. Uh, I don't want it. There's another bear trap by that body. Okay, let's take this person out. It seems like they're the next easy target for us to pick out. Let's try a headshot. Whoa, that drop is insane. Can we craft more? I need to leave this bush, but I don't want to be seen doing it. Go that way, please. Oh, there's another one right there. I didn't even see him till just now. This is a bad idea. Where'd they go? Let's go. They're distracted. Thank goodness for that distraction. Oh, there are freakers moving in. Let's go to this bush. There's another trap right there as well. Look out for bear traps. The freaks are coming down because they're shooting. Oh, back to the bush. He didn't see. Okay, we're okay. Maybe, oh, I thought it was another trap. Yeah, you should come back here, right? Can you come to this bush? Come here, please. Got him. Got some ammo. But for right now, let's switch back to this. We'll take care of all the looting after we're finished with these people that have automatic rifles. Um, I see... One? Huddled next to a rock? Jesus. Looks like they're gonna come up this way. I trust the crossbow. There we go. You're the last person? Someone out here. Uh, nice! Very good. Alright, let's clear the camp. Smoke on the mountain. We're almost good at copes. See, this is what, um... Uh... Like, bounties are good for. We're pretty close to an, um... The next level of trust in the Loser, camp. It's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke. I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Boozer. Nah, Boozer, I, I don't blame you, dog. You got your whole arm burned up, man. That's tough. You heading out? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up. <gasps> We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North. Yeah. 
I did not know this person was here. Deke, you there? D did you say you were heading north? Who's man now? You know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, take care, Alvarez, you know. Deke, it means a lot to me. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deacon out. There they are. Oh, a bear truck got that one. See? Right here. Let's see what she had. Deke. Oh, god damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. And he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. What do we, what can we loot here? What's there? Oh, a ear. I'm gonna leave the rest of them alone. Oh, there are three on the tracks? Now I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, D. Alive. Alive. You catch this man, then bring him. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. Mm. I'm taken. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm taken. I'll find him. We got that mission twice just now. Copeland spoke to us. So, I just heard two things. One is take care of Alvarez. The other is find the, the person that's drugged out of their mind. We're close to this. That's what we're going to do. Mm, mm. Oh, that's Leon's drug stash. And the other is Alvarez. Okay, so yeah, we'll take care of this drifter first. The drifter problem that, that he's been having. Hey, Dean, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that log here. Clear out those nests. I see a little freaks out there. Boozer, no! No, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the nest, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Dean. Oh man, there are a lot of them here. Uh, so yeah, if we do this one first, that way we can like get enough uh, trust at Copeland's camp to maybe get an upgrade on the bike. Son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. Um, oh, there's... This animation looks different. Alright, where? Looks like a comic book character. There he is! Bike bounty. Uh, some will stand and fight. Others will try to flee. Chase your target to capture them alive. Ramming at the bike and shoot them are your best options. Silver helmet, red gas. Oh. That's it. Oh, I missed oh, it. Shit. The hell? See 
you thought you'd find in the Goblin's camp. I should have done something, am I right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out, and you just... chop it. Oh, bike combat! While on your bike, tap LB to acquire a target, then tap RB to fire your side on I don't want to shoot that. Let's see, uh... I don't know. I want to use ammo, honestly. Let's get that assured shot. Let's bump into him. There we go. We'll just have to chase him further, but I don't want to use all the ammo that we have. The bike is incredibly slow, dude. Sure. Come here. Oh, what? I didn't get all damage registered for that. We're by O'Leary Mountain. Uh, it's like they increase in speed with us. Let's just do it. Trying to take a good angle to get him. Nice! Shot Manny, you know who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You want a couple of toadies? You little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Ah, oh, sweet. Look at that. That looks cool. Cope, it's done. Uh, Got him. Uh, you tell Mark down these coordinates and send your man out of here. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. So we have a new skill point. Oh, we can also clear out the uh, log camp. What should we do first? As much as I want to do that, um, let's swing by Copeland's, then clear out the nests, and maybe that'll be our next episode up here at the logging camp. Should we fast travel? Yeah, why not? Let's try out some instantaneous travel. Wow, that's really fast. Travel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want some upgrades for the bike. Hey, Deke. What it is. Bike could use an upgrade. Oh, we have a lot of credits too. Uh, so initially, uh, we don't have storage yet. So I'm thinking we go for how much is exhaust? 600. And that's 1200. We have just enough. I'll wrap that up for you. This is lovely. Good choice, man. Good choice. Um, we don't really have anything more. We should have more stuff later. See ya. See ya. Actually, can we paint the bike a different let's color? Go, hey, Manny. Um, let's go to paint. Uh, no. We can paint our base. Oh, I like that. Cool. Need anything else? Um. Oh. Wait, can we attach the accent that we just got? How do we do that? Visual? No headlights and stuff. I'll figure it out at some point. For right now, let's make our bike a cool color. That's pretty. I wish they had seafoam green. That'd be lovely. Oh, I like the sky blue. That's this what we're doing. For a while. I'll be here. Where are we? Hello! 
beautiful baby blue. All right, let's let's head to the, oh, uh, Zabuza, 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 Zabuza. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Okay, it's nighttime. Uh, they're gonna be stronger at nighttime. Let's sleep until daytime. Oh, you there? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you, open road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Uh, I think it's this way. I'm heading toward the Z's on the map. There we go. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. I love that. I hear a bunk calling my name. Also this transition to daytime. All right. Bodacious. Let's go. Let's go take care of this, man. Yes, absolutely. Can I like jump off some stuff to like make my no? Okay. <laughs> so a uh, couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's scavenging, you know. I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. You know what we found? A bunch of kids, like infected kids. <sighs> Drifters call them newts. Crawling all over the place like a bunch of crazy damn monkeys almost got us killed. Oh, that sounds crazy. That's why my ass has been parked here for the past year. Nothing out in the ship but a whole lot of sorry. Hmm. We were just there. I think we took care of all those newts. Jeez, man. <laughs> just around the corner, huh? Um, yeah, so, uh, it's really cool that... I didn't think I'd see you around so much. Everyone got sick hey. and died. You can imagine, right? I mean, I was teaching letters to a bunch of snot-nosed first graders, and I use the word teaching very loosely here. When this kid comes in late, he didn't look right. Sort of out of it. Next thing I know, he's biting a kid next to him, then another, and then another. I got help, and we got the kids sedated, took the others to the nurse, but it only got worse. I swear, within half hour, less, the kids were snapping at each other. Within an hour, the whole school was infected. Mm. No one knew what to do. Hell, we didn't even know what was going on. 911 wasn't even picking up by then. Mm. I did the only thing I could. Get the hell out. That's pretty messed up. I didn't think I'd see you around so much. Hey. We're broke. So, can't get anything from the merchant. Yeah, but those stories. Hey, Manny. Ah, look out. I couldn't stop. Uh, those stories, they really, like, kind of, like, make the world just, like, a little deeper, you know? Like, these aren't just, like, a bunch of NPCs walking around. They're like actual people that have conversations and thoughts. The world outside of us is still happening and still going on. I don't know. It, it, it's better for like my immersion. Um, and it just, it makes not only the world feel like a much bigger place, but it also makes me think about, you know, I'm not player Take one. On. Nah, you gotta leave the bike out here, Deke, or it'll pull all of them down on you. 
I'm not like player one, you know? Everybody's player one in real life and Mrs. stuff. Ray, you're free, Oregon. Yep. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. Freak infestations, uh, they're a highly dangerous area where freakers are congregated to build nests to hibernate during the day. Burn all the nests in an infestation to clear out a path for fast travel. Had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All right. all the oh. of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country They'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. Hmm, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to take care of these two. Okay, one nest done. How many more you got? I'll have you go over there, and I'll have you come closer to me. Separate the two of you, make you less dangerous. Did you come? Oh, there you are. Can I go back in the bush? Don't see me? I love it. Okay, we got him. At least this gave us time to wait for... Can I have the ear? It gave us time to wait for... The zone to finish burning. Yeah, this explosive barrel. I bet so too, Deacon. Anything in here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Let's hop through. Find the rest of these uh, infestations. Yeah. You know, sometimes Copeland um, can really say a lot of things that I don't agree with. So, uh, I might wind up skipping a lot of the optional dialogue from Radio Free Oregon. I wonder if there's something up here. Uh, I don't see any nests. There's one here. How much of a cannon does Deacon have? Deacon... Okay. Lob a Molotov. Oh, there's gotta be a nest in this shack. That should be it. Go! Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. I hope that one gets set on fire. Nope, nothing. No fire for you. You don't see me. You don't see me. It's impossible. You have no idea I'm here. Arguably worth it. What's up, buddy? Oh, nothing much, huh? Huh? All in all, that could have gone worse. Let's pop a med kit. Definitely could have gone worse. We got four and ourselves. Three and ourselves with a Molotov. <laughs> How many nests are in this area? Does it tell us? Um... Oh, there's six, so we gotta find four more. A box of nails, and I think that I'll take this gas with us, because we know that we gotta burn four more, and I like to save a Molotov if we can. I'm gonna go through here. Anything? Yes! Oh, just ammo. 
I mean, yeah, I appreciate it though. It's nice to have ammo. Um, let's check out this building over here. I don't see anything outside. Oh, where else? Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home. Absolutely. Yeah. There we go. So I'll toss this up there. Uh, I don't know if Deacon can make it. Okay. Now I can get distance. Should I hang out in this bush? I'll hang out in these bushes. That should be on fire, right? What? Okay. That definitely should have worked. Um, I see a potential here for two sneak attacks. And you should be facing that way. Guess we gotta Molotov it. Yeah, maybe uh, if we do try the uh, gasoline again, we have to do it a particular kind of way. Did we take damage? We did. Not bad though. For this one, we can just use a regular little heal. Did we use a little heal? Yeah, that's the bandage. Okay. Still burning out. It's clear though. Let's let's go up there. Crouch. Anything? God damn it! What you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Is that one? Okay, we can craft enough. It'll warm you up. Come on, fellas. Headshot that one? That was incredible. Oh, whoa. Nah, let's not waste it. So there's one more. Dodge it up. Easy. So just now we got two nests. Um, I don't know if you saw the second one. The first one was right there. And yeah, that second Molotov we threw hit the other nest. There's one more chilling right there on the side. Um, looks like there's nothing. There's this ectoplasm type stuff. But, uh, besides that, there's nothing in these. There's a wooden plank. Okay. Last one. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I want to conserve this ammo. So what we'll do is we'll run out, quick flip around. Missed it. Missed it twice. Good ammo. He's my brother. Oh my goodness. Got the dodge. One more. Easy money. Cash money. Is that the last of them? <sighs> Finally. Now let's see if there's Ooh, something. It's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less nah. freaks on the mountain from now on. Hmm. Hey, Deke, how'd it go? Were there, were there a lot of them? 
Yeah, but I wanted to clear him while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers him. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. Yes, I'm shut eye boozer. Deacon out. Yeah, there you go, booze man. Bike, 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 bike. Heading back to the bike. Uh, so yeah, that was the logging camp, <clears throat> and uh, that was the infestation zone as well. Um, so now that this area is clear. We got like a bunch of um, like trust back at the like camp that was here as well, the coping camp. Um, so I think that with that, that'll end out this episode for today. I greatly appreciate all of you. Uh, there's a blue dump truck. Dump truck, we're matching. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll see you all next time on the Cumulonimbus. Oh, you know, we didn't use any of these explosive barrels. Let's change that. <laughs> hey, go check out those barrels. Go on. No. Check out the barrels. Please. Can we have one cool thing? Okay, well, how about this? What if I lead you past the barrels? Will you run at them? Nice. And we use the barrels.